Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. Woodford Reserve Kentucky Straight Rye Whiskey. Did you say rye? Rye whiskey, rye whiskey. Test it! Let's test it. Yeah. We got us some Woodford Reserve rye. Now you know I uh, I'm particular and like some Woodford Reserve. Well, you know what's weird is in the intro when I go Kentucky Straight, that's like you just want to say bourbon whiskey, but it's rye. Kentucky Straight Rye Whiskey. Rye. They even got the green. They got the green labeling, which is supposed to mean rye. As some cousin th Shane said, if I don't get some rye whiskey, I think I might die. die. Right. Now, I hadn't had this. You brought this over. I hadn't had a chance to sample it, so I have no pre-notes on it. Okay, well, the Kentucky, or the Kentucky, the Woodford Reserve rye literally just showed up here. Now, mm. it's been out for a few months mm -hmm. in other parts of the states. Parts. And so I was in um, Auburn Spirits on Friday. Mm. And they had just gotten it in Thursday. And I'd been checking the shelves each time I went in there to see. Boom, they had it. And, uh, bam, you had to get it. It, it was yep. a, like an instant buy. Yep. Now, I will point out, I'll take a little bit more too. I've been wearing several Boba Fett shirts throughout the last several episodes, culminating in my pullover, which the wife got me, my hoodie, not a pullover, which the wife got me for Christmas, I think last year, maybe the year before. Also brought out my 1980s 12 inch Boba Fett original. He looks good on there. It looks like, like, right? Looks like mini me. Yeah, that's what's going on, except I'm wearing the white hat. Now, now this have, you hoodie, wore, have you worn this out? In yes. Public? Yes, I am. The hoodie comes up, you can zip it all the way over your face. Oh. And it ends up giving we'll take the you. Hat off. Oh. Do it. Hold on. Now, have you gotten com or compliments? Well, I've never actually done that. There this. you go. <laughs> <laughs> I've never done that. Sweet. Before. You should yeah. do that. Yeah, I should. And, I, hey, and if, if I you do did, this, I can see. Yes, if you did that, no killer clown would come after yeah, you. Yeah, killer clown They'd comes like, out. Oh, no, I'd, uh, I'd just kill him. That's like, uh-uh, I ain't going after Boba like, Fett. Go get him, go get him. Go get him, Jimmy. I ain't going after That's <laughs> Boba Fett. Yeah, we don't mess with Boba Fett. So, I love All right. this. Yes, I like it too. It's nice. Yeah. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh, just from the packaging, this is a truly unique proprietary batch rye. I like the sound of it. Of unparalleled quality. Because what's one of the first things I asked you? I is go, this MGP? Yeah, because lately we're reviewing a rye and it's like MGP. MGP. They sourced it. They sourced the spirit. What's it say on here? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, blah, blah. It's the art. Kentucky Straight Rye Whiskey is distilled, matured, and bottled in Kentucky and delivers bold and spicy character. So they're claiming the trifecta. Kentucky Rye, baby. Now, At 45.2%. 45 45 ah, a little bit higher ABV. Now, I'm, I mean, first of all, don't get me wrong. I'm loving MGP. Okay? They it, yeah. They, they are skilled in what they're doing, and I get why you would source your spirit from them. But I love the fact that they put on here, this is all from Kentucky. Mm -hmm. All of it. Distilled there, bottled there. Did they even say aged there? I already yep. figured out what you told yep. me. Yep. Spice. Distilled, matured, and, dis and uh, bottled. Love it. So, nose, what do you got, sir? Citrus. Okay. Wood. Hmm. Almond. Oh, wait. Wow. No, I think you're on How about if I change yeah, he's my on notes. old one. He didn't change his notes. I was like, what? I've, I do have a little bit of that it. dillish, and I get that rye, that, that raising rye bread as it's baking. The nose is great to me. This has a great rye nose. It's a sweet rye. Reminds me of a sa the Sazerac rye. Really? I get confectioner sugar. Wow. Key lime pie. Okay, I'm with you there. And the, and the sweet rye notes. Nose is great. I can really get right down in there. I do get, uh, again, just that raising rye bread, a little bit of that dill rye. Hmm. Color's nice. What do you got on your flavor? Mm. 
taste very sugary sweet. The sweetness is at the forefront. A sweet rye. Mm. Citrus. A very slight pepper spice. Wow. See, I get it as, for me, less sweet. Strong pepper on the front is what I get. Um, tails out, stay strong, center of my tongue, pop. And as it trails out, I get that, that doughy rye bread as if it's raising on top of the stove with, with that like cheesecloth over top of it. Mm. Mom used to raise bread like that, not rye bread, but bread. And I get that, that warmth, the warmth that accompanies the rising bread. I don't get as much sweetness as you got. Mm -hmm. I get a lot of pepper, and I can definitely pick up that higher ABV. I still get a strong citrus, that yeah. sweetness. Um, orange peel. Water uh, brings out more of the oak. I haven't done that. Um, and we don't have, we're not at the same time here that I had when I was sitting down and tasting it. But the rye notes get stronger as this sits. Mm. As well as some of the vanilla starts to come out. Let me see, I got some drops of water in. Nose seems about the now, same. It reminds me of the Sazerac rye. Sazerac rye, and I sat down the other night, actually me and me and cousin Shane, we had a few ryes side by side. Mm. Or one after the other. Um, the Rittenhouse rye, definitely not sweet. Definitely spicy, peppery. Sazerac rye, sweetie, and rye. Sweetie. Sweetie. I guess without doing this one side by side, that's the same... That I'm getting. Do you think? Are you thinking Rittenhouse? Or are you thinking Sazerac? Oh boy, not Sazerac. Um, you know what you're calling for here is a, is a rye <laughs> shootout. Good, yeah. Yeah, we're yeah. gonna have to do a rye shootout because I would almost need them side by side to say, oh, definitely sweet. Oh, right in the middle or, or more oaked out. I feel like I'm getting a little bit more of the wood, a wooded rye with this, but I can't say the oak is, is strong, but I just feel like it's a little bit more oaky rye. Not on the sweeter side. I I would have to go back to the Rittenhouse and compare it. Definitely, we'll I think you've said it, that time might time. be a good idea but to do a shoot. I will tell you, um, Bobby Childs also, he he, he, he just got this Bobby. sometime recently, right. but he said, think Woodford Reserve bourbon with rye. Hmm. So some of that Woodford, or that, that woody, oaky mm -hmm. bourbon notes that come out. All those straight rye, it's still aged in oak. That's why I think the water and the thyme is bringing out some of the vanilla. A straight rye. I need to know about a little more. Uh, if anybody knows what the mash bill out there is, I'd love to know. Put it well, in I think notes. when you say it's a straight rye, I think it's rye. Well, well no, because then you've also seen... 51% rye, though? No, because you've also, the mean? thing is, you've also seen 100% rye labeling. That's what I'm saying. I mean, if it was straight bourbon, it would mean it was two years old, at least 51% corn. So what does a straight rye mean? I, I can't say if I know what that means. Hmm. I mean, this does say a proprietary batch. Um, they label it batch 50 Bottle number 2,596. Um, Dill pickle. Got a little yeah. bit of that on the nose. But I am calling it. We're going to need to do a rye shootout before the end of 2016. 2016 has been the, the land of rye discovery. For me, it's really been a rye eye-opening in 2016. Some of the creaminess now with the time. Did you add water yet? I did add a little water. Make it a little bit creamier. Um, vanilla cream coming out with it. Hmm. All right, off the top of your head, and it doesn't have to be what we're trying. I do get the vanilla cream a little bit more with the water in it. What would boba? What would be Boba Fett's dram? And we're talking the whole spectrum. I mean, leave out the fictitional. What might be out there? Fic fictitional? Fictitious. Out of what we got: Scotch, bourbons, rye. 
Canadians, single malts from Japan, Australia, Taiwan. We've had the Gambit, India with the Amrut, Sullivan's Cove, Tasmania. Where do you think he's fallen? I've got an idea. Okay. He's not... This would be perfect for Toma, by the way. He's Reverend not... Toma. The thing is, Boba Fett's not James Bond, so it's mm. not the 50-year McAllen. Yeah. No, he's he, more of a he's working wor man. He's working utilitarian. I need a drink. I, th he, I think he's a bourbon guy. Mm. I'm not sure on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a bourbon guy. Mm. Um, but he likes it. He likes it barrel strength. Whatever he wants, so, it's going to be a high um, ABV. I'm with you there. Mm -hmm. I hmm. You know, I was leaning towards saying Scotch. I think he would like, um, but uh, I'm with you. I don't know if he would like a peated Scotch or not. It definitely wouldn't be. It definitely, if it was a Scotch, it'd be a peated, like an Ardbeg. I could see him doing Ardbeg. But I could see him as a rye guy. First of all, we got the green. <laughs> okay, we got the green going right there. So he's he's labeled up with the green. Um, hmm. That's a good call. It would either be an Ardbeg Dark Cove. <laughs> okay, committee release, of course. <laughs> That's pretty refined. He, he just Ard, If he's Ardbeg, he's just Ardbeg Ten or Lafroy Ten. You don't think he'd go with the specials? He's not. He's not I fancy. He, he, I, I bet you he would. He's not fancy. He drinks it for a purpose. Hmm. That's it's time interesting. To go. It is. He doesn't have time to dwell on you it. Get, you got me dwelling on it, though, because now I'm thinking, what What would he drink? I don't know. Hopefully, they'll show him in the show. But I know. think he's a bourbon, and I think it's a it's a barrel proof. It's a cast drink that puts that heat in his belly, and he's done, and he's on to the next bounty. Hmm. I don't know. Put it in the comments. Add some comments on what you think, Boba, and please get specific, because I want to read what you put down there. Could be vodka. No, there's no flavor to vodka. He would definitely want something with some flavor in it. Just straight vodka. I think he might be like a Zima fan. Gin? <laughs> Gin? He wants a dirty martini. No, he's definitely not on the dirty martini. It would be a straight something. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, we're going to scotch it, you scotch it. You got to score it. And we Dang, do it I got all it. excited. You threw me off. I'm sorry. That where, was my where fault. Where are you going? I don't know. I thought wow. you were pushing me at one point. I thought you were pushing me to be done. <laughs> <laughs> I got way off kilter. I got lost with Boba. It happens. Yeah, you were like, what are you talking about? Why are you yelling scotch it? My I'm going 91 on the Woodford Reserve Rye. <sighs> I like it. This is my kind of rye. That, it's that, to me, I think there's a, a citrus, a sweetness in there. Um, it's not the written house that's just spice forward, um, pepper spice. There's, there is sweetness in there. I like it. In fact, is I called, I bought this and tried it, and I called Cousin Shane on the phone, and I said, get in your truck, <laughs> go to Auburn Spirits. Get in your truck, grab your dog. Get the Woodford Reserve Rye right now. Clean the sheetrock dust off your jean jacket. <laughs> they just got it in. Go get a bottle. Go buy it. 80, Cut. 88. I like mine. You like went 80? I was tossing because it's a good rye. I like the rye breadness. I like my ryes a little sweeter. Just a little sweeter. You know how much I like the Zazarai. You know how much I like the Dickel. I know. I put the Z in the Zazarai. I think I like, I'm finding out I like my ryes a little sweeter. This one's a little drier. A little more oaked. And I think the kicker for me is... I'm never leaning as much toward the wood as I do towards, at least with my rise and my bourbons, the sweetness. Still good. Phenomenal. Love the Woodford. Love what they did here. Love that it's all in Kentucky. 88. Is it worth it? How much? $30. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, I got to have it on there. <laughs> yeah, that's something I got to have. That is awesome. That's a $30 mm -hmm. bottle? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's really worth it. Wow. Yep. Yep. Wow. Yeah, I need to get in my truck. <laughs> get pull truck. on my 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 drive jean, over there my, right now. My jean jacket vest. Rye whiskey, <laughs> rye whiskey. Scotch it, you Scotch gods. Salancha. Dummies. Dummies. <laughs>